name's Sam, and I'm going to be talking about Johnny Cash and his sound and his influence. Um, well, you wonder why I always dress in black, why I never have bright colors on my back. I wear black for the poor and the beaten down, for the prisoner who was long paid for his crime, for the sick and lonely old, and for the thousands who have died. So many of us who enjoy music um, are also actively concerned with social and political issues. And as history has shown us, musicians who write and perform music on social commentary have actually impacted those problems positively. For this reason, supporting artists like Johnny Cash, who have um, influential music, uh, can move the music industry in a helpful direction. So I have been an avid fan of Johnny Cash's music for some time. And after working on a research paper about the music, about the way the music impacted the protests during the 1960s, um, I discovered that Johnny Cash is actually um, a, pivotal, a pivotal artist from the country and Western scene who left an impact on, the, on behalf of the counterculture. So today we are going to explore how Johnny Cash, uh, an important figure to the music industry, was able to use his unique musical style to his advantage and create ballads on social and political concerns. So first, let's explore how his, uh, explore the genre that defined him, more specifically his style, um, and how his particular somber and lyrical arrangement uh, was produced. So one of the most important influences on him, uh, on his style was his childhood. Uh, according to Richard Phillips, uh, Johnny Cash's childhood was surrounded by his mother's folk and religious songs and by the work tunes from the fields. Um, all of which served as an uh, important influence for his 50 year long musical career. Um, however, this country le legend had no twang in his voice and he avoided using the two most pivotal instruments for the country roots, the steel guitar and the fiddle. So some genres that can describe him is country, gospel, uh, rockabilly, rock and roll, folk, and Americana. He had an unmistakable sound, a bass baritone voice that provided a gruff and fiery delivery. Uh, the most notable sound that followed him for years is the boom chicka boom rhythmic pattern, which sounds like a freight train. So according to the Rolling Stone, magazine, uh, Johnny Cash was a storyteller with lyrics full of heart-cutting authentic messages, uh, creating dark and blunt ballads. He wrote an understanding of the underdog about religion, prison reform, social concerns, the war in Vietnam, sorrow, redemption, and love. Uh, he had a profound musical understanding that displayed country sensitivity and values with an urban touch. So now that we understand the work that went into his music, we can see how his sound impacted uh, social concerns. So one of the things, uh, one of the social issues that he ventured into was the plight of Native Americans. And for that, he created the uh, concept album, Bitter Tears, Ballads of the American Indian. Um, so in this album, he collaborated with Peter Lafarge, a Native American, who wrote the well-known song on the album, The Ballad of Ira Hayes. Um, and according to Phillips, the song is about the Native American Marine who helped raise the flag on Iwo Jima. Uh, despite his war medals and uh, heroism, uh, when he went back home, he was the medals and everything. Um, he was still faced with uh, anti-Indian racism and he died a poverty-stricken alcoholic. So another social issue he was concerned about was prison reform, for which he made the live album at Folsom Prison. So with this album, he wanted to bring awareness to the physical abuse of inmates, torture, and um, inadequate living conditions. So according to Elizabeth Stacks, the 2,000 inma inmates in attendance to the concert he made, um, plus Cash's somberness, capture the spirit of the prisoner and mood of unrest. So the single uh, Falls in Prison Blues in the album 
itself carries the listener through the stream of thoughts uh, the prisoner has, starting with boredom, desire, and finally agitation. Lastly is his, um, in addition to social issues, he also ventured into political issues too. Um, Cash and his wife, June Carter, performed for uh, Richard Nixon at the White House in 1970. Um, Cash went with the purpose to uh, 